हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सो वेलकम टू एपिसोड टू ऑफ सॉको मैन इज अ 2022 एफसी बार्सिलोना करियर मोड इन दिस एपिसोड वी विल बी साइनिंग अ सेंटर बैक हु विल बी अ massively improving our defense and the other thing is we will starting our la liga season which is starting with a el clasico so i'm very excited for it and if you want daily content of soccer manager 2022 then hit that subscribe button press that like button and hope you guys will enjoy this episode and let's begin with selling some of uh, the dead woods in the club so asak tad Donex in has handed out 21 uh, million offer for Coutinho. I think I am going to accept it. Yeah, of course, why not? I think I'm going to accept. I don't think I'm going to counter the whatever. Oh, shit! Coutinho is not interested in a move to Sakta, so I can't. PSV. I think I'm going to accept this. Bye bye. Uh, and the other is Braithwaite. So Brentford is worth seven point two five, and the best offer is five point four. So I'm going to accept this too. Uh, and Langlet, uh, we have got a twenty three point five, twenty three point five from Olympiacos. So I'm going to accept Olympiacos bid. And the Neto offer for Neto from Alaves and Monaco. I am going to accept whichever the best offer is, and the best offer is from Monaco. So I'm going to accept Monaco's bid. and the other is busquets uh let's see what busquets uh, uh busquets will be willing to move i want to sell him to get afi but i can't so i will be selling him to real sociedad and a uh, list city uh list city have oh celta we oh shit why the players do not want to move to the club that are bidding the highest so i have to accept list city's bid uh and villarreal and getafe have hand in pks and i'm going to accept getafe's getafe's or offer so let's just continue with it and let's see if the deal goes through or not and i have one uh center back in mind in that is i'm going to show you um who i have uh, picked as my center back and that is emric laporte the city guy who has been wonderful this season who has been awesome this season he's 86 rated he's 36 million worth and i am going to offer 40 million first just to see what they come out and say uh we have 135 million in budget so i don't think uh, any thing will affect dest is not happy with this quest Tested. Come on, man. I will. You will be getting a much more game time. You don't have to worry about that. So Fati is also not happy. Uh, of course, you're gonna get much more Dembele. Oh, okay. I Dembele. You will also play much. Araujo. You will also play. I don't know why are this player worried about their game time, because these are the players who will play the most. Because I have sold PK. I have sold all the old players. because i want to build a young team and after this season i'm even going to sell uh, aguero and i have i think i have terminated the loan of luke de jong because i don't want him in my team uh, so laporte bid is rejected uh, they want 54 i am going to offer 48 just to see what i uh, man city have to say i am going to offer 41 million uh, for emric laporte even though they demanded uh, i'm just going to play around uh, so i can get uh, the value as much down as possible because we have 135 uh, million uh, budget so i will be spending it uh, on um, many other position on not only in defense but many other position um and let's see okay so we have it has been accepted manchester city have accepted a bid from barcelona of 41 million for emric laporte we are going to discuss 
the personal terms right now he wants 140000 per week a signing bonus of 3 million 615000 and a 3 year contract i'm going to give it to him because i don't want to make him unhappy and not sign for me because this defense is the area that i want to improve improve the most and the other signing will be left back because we don't have a first team left back right now in our team uh Araujo is concerned about his play time after new signing you will receive the game time you don't have to worry about that because our uh, laporte and uh, Araujo will be my center pairing throughout the season and let's see what happens um, uh, and i think i will be sending a lot of the players from the reserve team to generate some extra cash uh so yeah the europa league is going on i think this is the qualification rounds uh i can't believe uh, okay la liga has begun atletico has beaten sevilla 3-1 at valencia have beaten cadiz 5-0 so let's see okay move to first team move to so squad reserve team i'm going to sell a lot of players to generate some extra cash uh uh first in yaki penya uh the score uh, i mean I, was, I would like to start from the last uh uh last and that is f u z z i fuzzy or luzi luzi sorry uh reserve team luzi uh this fernandez guy uh because we have to like um I sell these players because they are not going to contribute anything to the team and the only reserve team players that I will that I will be looking to keep in my team is uh Alex Alex Coyaro, Pablo Gabi. I am of course going to sell this and Aranda guy and I am also going to sell um, of course I'm not going to sell this guy Nico Gonzalez uh because he is a promising talent i will sell this matthews Pereira guy uh and the other is uh, lucas de vega um but why it is always moved here man uh, of course i would like to sell square bitch and uh, reserve team and Carrillo uh, and yeah this is the player I will be looking to sell and the only one signing I will be making is uh, a left back and I have a left back in my mind and that is Jose Gaia he was linked to Barca this summer so it will be uh, I think a realistic signing both uh, I think um, uh, uh, this he has moved to Porto. Wasn't he at Valencia? Yeah, I don't care. 29 million. Uh, so 20. Oh no. He is worth 29 million. So I would like to offer 30 million. Just to see what Porto come out and say. Just to see what Porto come out and say. Uh, so one day to. Uh, one day okay we have got a lot of transfer off atletico madrid 3 million malaga 3.35 okay i'm going to accept this bid from atletico because it is a very good bid and zirona mm, of, of course i'm going to accept it mm. so i'm going to pray uh play a training deal uh, right now uh because it will help all the things uh, go up so basic training I think it will be tactical and uh, technical and and a physical so I'm gonna I'm gonna put why is it not working physical and tactical so this will be my training drills uh the training i think will help the team um everything goes up uh, musawage has gone up 
everybody has gone up so yeah it is good to see this player going the Stegen, Coutinho and Aguero will not be going and I think uh, Beside from Aguero and Tristegen, Coutinho, I will be looking to sell him because the price Barcelona bought him in for 140 something million. That's crazy, but he's not delivering as the price tag. So today the La Liga season kicks off for us and it is against Real Madrid. How big can it get? Aguero has stated that he wants to be in the starting for the next match. Okay, I will start you against Real Madrid because I think in this type of game we need experience. And Aguero, I think, has that experience to play in such game because he's Aguero. Uh, he has scored some last minute winners. Uh, so, first, let's see the starting lineup. Dipe, Aguero, Dembele. Of course, Emmerich Laporte is coming in. And the other player who is... Uh, Coming in is uh, uh, Pedri Gonzalez, Oscar Mingueza, uh, Ricky Puj. Oh no, Ricky Puj, where do I play him? This guy. So yeah, these are the changes uh, I need to actually buy a left back. Now why is Balde not in the left back? Uh, squad, uh, I think reserve team, Alejandro Balde. Uh, move to first team. Uh, I think I'm going to remove. Where is that guy? Uh, this guy and select. Because Balde is a very good uh, south for that left back position. And uh, where is that Balde? Okay, so Balde will play here, and he's higher rated than this Marmol guy who's 35. And the other thing I want to change is Ansu Fati will play this game. And yeah, I think, yeah, uh, f where is test? So this is my starting lineup, Tristegin on the goal, Balde on the left, Araujo and Laporta, the new centre-back pairing. Uh, Dest on the right, Frankie De Jong on the DMC role, uh, Coutinho and Pedri, the two midfield. On the left, I have Fati on the right, Dembele, and from the middle, we have Aguero. So let's see how our team fares. I think Laporta will be getting the 3, Skodovic will be getting the 13. And Matos will get in the f uh, something, yeah. So, I don't want to do that right now. So, let's see. Let's see the lineup of uh, Real Madrid. Mendy, they have signed Gundogan. That's interesting. Kotwa in goal, Carvajal, Alaba, Fernandez, and Mendy at the back. Modric, Casemiro, Gundogan. That's interesting midfield. And uh, Asensio, Benzema, Hazard up top. So, it will be, of course, not an easy match, but uh, our team is also looking strong, except for that left back side. So, let's see. I hope to get. So, guys, uh, the game is going to start. Uh, so, let's see how our team fares in this game. Of course, I want to start the season by winning uh, because. Uh, I don't know. Mm. Mm. So the game has begun. Uh, so Real Madrid are dominating the position. Uh, I would not say they are completely dominating it. Uh, it's been like 50 50 kind of thing in that position. Um, of course, uh, come on, score. So now it's 50 50. No, it's already 51 49. No shots. Oh, Real Madrid have had a shot and a shot on target. We have not had a shot or a shot on target. So let's see uh, what happens. Uh, it's 25 minutes in the game. Um, I don't know uh, what to expect. They have two shots on target and two shots. I think Ter Stegen is saving us in this game. Uh, so let's see what happens. They have three shots on target and three shots. So I'm pretty sure Ter Stegen is saving us uh, like he does in real life. The changes I want to make is Dipe will be going uh, into that middle. Fati and I think I want to pay Ricky Puch, uh for... I, I don't think I'm going to change that. So yeah, confirm. So let's see how our team does. And I want to win this game. But I don't know. They are completely dominating the position. They have more shots on target. They have more shots. 
I don't know. Uh, I think we are gonna lose this match. Uh, SNG has got a yellow card. They have four shots on target and we have none. Uh, I don't know why is this happening, but this needs improvement. Finally, we get a shot on target and a shot. Um, so that's an improvement. Uh, 75 minutes into the game, no goals. Uh, I think Real Madrid have uh, a better. Uh, I think. Um, chance of scoring goals but they haven't because i think uh uh Tegen is saving us uh full time and it's has ended nil nil in the first game i don't know what to say uh i think i will take this because our team is still a rebuilding uh because i need to improve that left back spot okay interesting felipe coutinho was the man of the match Okay, so I think he did uh, quite well, I guess. And okay, mm. okay, we have got some gifts right here. Mm. So I will be looking to sign a left back now uh, because uh, uh, left back will be a good shout uh, and. Uh, Let's see if we have got any transfer offer. Yes, we have, and that is Coutinho 16.5. But he's not willing to move to that club, so I will not be accepting the transfer bid. I can't also uh, because he does not want to move. So, Champions League qualifying round is going on. So, the player I want to sign for the left back spot didn't I submit a transfer bid for Jose Gaia? Where is that gone? Didn't I summon a transfer bid? No. So I will be again the Jose Gaia. Yeah, so search Jose Gaia. Uh, make transfer bid. He is 33 million worth. So I will be offering 45 million for him. Uh, 40 million will be a fair price. I don't think 45. I think that will be overpaying for uh, Jose Gaia. Mm. And the other signing I want to make, I don't know uh, any suggestion. Uh, I will uh, take it in that comment section down below. Chelsea have just won the European Super Cup like they did, but uh, they did it uh, not in penalties, but in that Gaia bit rejected. Okay. So I have to look for another left back and that is Alfonso Davies. Davies. Alfonso Davies. Yeah, this transfer does not seem that uh, realistic, but uh, uh, I don't have any other center backs, uh, left backs in mind. Uh, so yeah, I will be looking to sign him. Uh, he is worth 53. So I will be offering uh, 60 million from him. Uh, that will be a fair uh, offer for a player like Alfonso Davis because he is high rated. He has got potentials and he's young. I think he's only 19 right now and he's one of the left best left back um, in the world. So we have got a lot of offers for uh, the young players. Uh, I think I'm going to accept it all. Mm. So, any other? Davies paid rejected. They want 73. Yeah, that sounds fair. But I will be offering 70. Um, so, I think in this episode, we will be playing the match against Viralier, which is away our second game. We do our first game, as you all know. So, uh, we will be playing that match in this episode. And we'll be wrapping up this episode uh, with the signing of Alfonso Davies and the match against uh, Villarreal. So let's see. Uh, I think today is a game day. Uh, have we signed Alfonso Davies? No, because they haven't responded to us yet. Mm. Okay, Davies to yes, finally. He wants 120. I'm gonna give him 120. Uh, and yeah, uh, we have this offers. I'm going to accept it all. And we are gonna play the match against Villarreal. And we will be wrapping up this episode. I hope to win this game. 
because we have drawn against Real Madrid in that first game, which uh, which was quite an awful draw because we were completely out cast by them i'm going to start with the same lineup and let's see what happens uh, and i think uh, it will be fair to ask for a win in this game uh, because uh, against villarreal of course we have to win we have bars i think we sh should have won the game against uh, at uh, real Madrid too but we didn't but i will be expecting a win against Villarreal right here so let's see the match has started um, we are dominating the position not actually dominating they are dominating the position now we are dominating the position we have got a shot uh, we have got a shot but not on target though we have got a shot on target now uh, oh yes Aguero scores for us and that's a good thing uh, one shot on target and one goal that's uh, I think clinical they have also saw, got a shot on target but uh, uh, we didn't let them score that's a good sign Aguero has scored and come on score one more man come on uh, we have two shots on target Balde has got a yellow card and uh, mm, I don't know uh, 40 minutes in it's 1-0 to Barca uh, it's half time and we are leading by one goal uh, the only change I'm gonna make is Dipe for uh, uh, Ansu Fati because Ansu Fati, I don't think uh, seeing that uh, rating has played well in this game. Uh, oh no, they have equalized. Come on, man, they have equalized. I was not expecting this. Come on, score, score. Come on, someone score from our team, man. They have got two shots on target. They have scored one goal. We have got four shots, two on target, and we have scored one. So, I think it's been a fair game. But we are dominating in terms of position. We have got one shot blocked there, but they have not got any shots blocked. Uh, we have got yellow card for Balde. I think this game is also going to end in a draw. And that's a very frustrating thing. Two games, no win for us. Full time against Villarreal, 1-1. One, one. Uh, tough, man. I was just expecting this when Aguero scored. I think I was uh, uh, hoping to win this game. So there, something is, someone is um, man of the match. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, guys, I will be wrapping up the episode here. In this episode, as you all know, I signed Emmerich Laporte. I think Alfonso Davies signing is also done. Uh, yeah, I think the signing is done. So, let's look at the La Liga table. I don't think that's looking good. Yeah, of course, that's not looking quite good because we are actually 14th. Uh, the only good thing is Real Madrid are uh, behind us, but they have got a game in hand. So I will be wrapping up the episode right here. And um, this is where we stand in La Liga right now. I hope you guys like today's episode. Hope uh, I will be bringing the third episode very very soon um i hope to get my first win in balaidos against celta vigo so i really hope i can get the first win of uh, la liga in my first first season i have not got any win this season so i'm really uh, sad about that and we are sitting 14th in la liga so yeah i will be wrapping up the episode right here i uh, hope you guys liked it please do not forget to subscribe uh, liked uh, my video and see it among your friends and families have a great day and peace